one mythological character whose story you wish to retell and why? I wish to retell. Yeah, that's the same. Mm, is it uh, definitely Radha? Radha because uh, she is just not the symbol of love. She is a symbol of quiet rebel also. Because and she is the most non-conforming woman in our mythology because her love is very very unique. She was a married woman, uh, and uh, she came from a very different society from what uh, and her from from what Krishna was and her love for Krishna was in a way not only defines her personality but it defines her entire life. So yes, Radha definitely is a challenge. I'd love to. I don't know whether I can do it or not, but I'll definitely like to do it. Mythology or historical fiction, which is more fascinating to you and why? Oh, I'd love to do historical fiction, but I don't think I have the courage to do it. Honestly, if you ask me, but uh, because I love history as a subject, and when I'm actually, honestly, when I'm doing research on mythology, there are aspects of history which do get uh, interlap. So, but. I think at the moment mythology itself is a huge canvas, and I'd love to explore it. And I guess when I'm exhausted, I might have be brave enough to try historical fiction. One mythological character you personally relate with the most, and why? Hmm. Uh, I think Urmila. Yes, I think I wrote uh, Sita sister with a lot of sweat and blood uh, because. Uh, there was a lot of identification there because I, I also come from a family of girls, we are sisters and uh, what Urmila has gone through, yes, in part it was a little, I, I, I think that's why, I think I could, because I could identify more with her, I think she is, she is someone who I would love to. One mythological character you personally relate with the most and why? Mm, I think I wrote about her, it's Urmila. I think because uh, like her, I think I, I also come from a family of girls. We have with three sisters, I have two daughters, my daughter, sister has daughters. So it's a very feminine family, a uh, family of women and I think uh, Urmila sort of represents the entire, the, uh, she's the epitome of feminine, femininehood and her problems, her trials, her tribulations, I think I could identify largely with it because her story is a story of separation. One destination you have been craving to explore? Oh, I'd love to see Mohanjadaru, but I don't think I can. So. <laughs> the author you envy? Uh, you should say living author, I know. I think I really envy Reskin Bone because I met him at uh, the Calcutta Lit Fest and I saw the throngs of crowd waiting for the books to be signed. And I wish at that age, when I'm that as old as him, I wish I have such a crowd, even then. <laughs> One thing you would like to change in the mythological story? Mythological story? No, I think it's all perfect. And if I start changing it, I think what would poor Valmiki and Vyas do? So, I think we are already changing it a little by revising it and revisiting it. So, I don't think Valmiki, the story of Urmila, um, Valmiki, I mean, she's supposed to be the most neglected character. So, I think I, I did a little of his unfinished work. What is your next book and what is it about? This book, my book, you're asking? Yes. Oh, now that's not fair. You're asking me to choose between. Actually, I'm honestly, if you ask me, each time, each book is a, a way an author also evolves. So there is a special moment, it's a special experience, and which cannot be replicated and which cannot be compared. So for me, each book is. I know it sounds like a cliche. Each sound, each each is special. But as I said, yes, Urmila. I think I would out of the four, I think Sita sister. Yes, because. I think I did give it a lot of blood and sweat. Which is your next book? Oh, I'm supposed to talk. I'm a little superstitious about that. Um, again, yes, it's about a woman character. <clears throat> but this time it's not about the Ramayana. The only hint I can give is it's 
from the Mahabharata. So let's leave it at that.